Back in 2016, a Bosnian archaeologist named Semir Osmanagic, known for his controversial claims about the so-called Bosnian pyramids, announced a discovery in a forest near the small town of Zavidovici. What he found looked like something out of a legend, a massive, half-buried stone sphere. Measurements suggested it was nearly three meters across, and if it was indeed solid stone, it could weigh over 30 tons. To put that into perspective, that's heavier than a city bus. Now, why did this catch people's attention? Because perfectly spherical stones of this size are extremely rare. Nature can round stones, yes, but usually on a much smaller scale. River pebbles, boulders shaped by centuries of erosion, not something that looks like a giant's marble sitting in the middle of a Bosnian forest. For Osmanagic, this was more than a geological oddity. He claimed it might be evidence of an advanced ancient civilization that predated recorded history. Supporters rushed in with theories. Was it a marker, a monument, maybe even a piece of technology we don't understand? But critics pushed back immediately. Geologists pointed to natural processes. Iron-rich sandstone over millions of years can form spherical concretions. Similar ones had been studied in Costa Rica and New Zealand, though never on this scale. And while some locals were proud, convinced they were living near a clue to humanity's forgotten past, others were uneasy. There were whispers that disturbing the sphere might bring bad luck or awaken something best left alone. After all, history is full of artifacts that carried more than just scientific interest. So here's where things get messy. At first glance, the Bosnian sphere looked like the smoking gun, solid proof of a hidden chapter in human history. But the deeper you dig, the trickier it gets. When researchers began testing samples of the stone, results suggested it was made of a mix of sandstone and iron. And yes, geology has a way of making strange shapes through something called concretion, when minerals cement together over millions of years. Normally, this gives you rounded boulders, but almost never something this perfectly spherical, and almost never this massive. That's obstacle number one. If nature can do this, then maybe the mystery evaporates. But wait, obstacle number two hits harder. If Osmanagic's claims were right, this sphere could be older than 30,000 years. That would push it back into the Paleolithic era, a time when humans were supposed to be hunter-gatherers, not monument builders. Imagine it, our ancestors carving or casting a sphere heavier than a bus, thousands of years before the first pyramid stones were dragged into place. That's a pretty big twist to swallow. And of course, scientists didn't take it lightly. Critics said Osmanagic was cherry-picking evidence. Local geologists even warned that calling it man-made without solid proof was reckless, that it risked turning Bosnia into the next hotbed of pseudo-archaeology. But here's the disaster point. As excavations continued, the sphere wasn't fully unearthed. Its true size, its core, whether it was hollow or solid, all of that remained unclear. The forest soil and roots clung to it like the artifact didn't want to be revealed. And without that full picture, the debate only grew louder. Today, the massive stone sphere in Zavidovici is still there. Excavations began in 2016, but were never completed. Only part of it was uncovered, leaving its true size, weight, and composition uncertain. Estimates suggest nearly three meters across and up to 37 tons heavier than most known spheres anywhere in the world. Supporters, led by Samir Osmanagic, claim its near-perfect shape can't be natural. He argued it might be over 30,000 years old, evidence of a civilization far older than history allows. Critics countered. Geological tests showed sandstone and iron oxides, consistent with natural concretions. Similar formations exist elsewhere. The Moiraki boulders in New Zealand the Klerksdorp spheres in South Africa, and especially Costa Rica, where over 300 man-made spheres have been documented, some in deliberate alignments. The Bosnian example is larger than almost all of them. If artificial, it would be unique. If natural, it is still extraordinary. Either way, it sits on the edge of what we consider ordinary. And yet, no consensus exists. Interest faded, studies stopped, and the object remains half-buried, hidden under soil and moss. That's where the story ends. No proof, no certainty. 
only a massive stone sphere still buried in the Bosnian forest.